everyone know that applying for U.S. visa can be quite a daunting experience? I've just applied mine last week, but I had a delightful experience because I didn't have to go to the U.S. visa application interview. Surprise! For non-immigrant, you will have to get a B2 visa if you want to go to U.S. for vacation. Normally, when you apply for B2, it comes together B1, B2. B1 is for business, B2 is for tourism. They are normally combined. It was indeed a very pleasant surprise to see that I got the interview waiver. That means I saved a lot of long queue waiting time because the earliest interview appointment would have been two months from the date when I applied. Two months is a long wait. I want to share with you possibly what I have done which has resulted in an exemption for the US visa interview process. There is a part that asking me to fill out my past five visits to the US. At first, I thought of just filling out one for formality's sake, but at second thought, I took the trouble to fill out past five visits correctly. Maybe, I think maybe because of my accuracy in filling up, so they thought they allow me an exemption for, <laughs> for the interview appointment. I don't know, could be. Oh, another thing about the questionnaire part, uh, generally they are quite of uh, cookie cutter, but there's one question specifically I would like to share with you. The question goes, not as a question, rather the statement goes, my prior US visa does not have clearance received. So what I did was I took up my prior US visa and I couldn't find this phrase clearance receive. Therefore I tick yes. So after I had filled up all the questions there in DS160 form, I hit submit and voila to my surprise, I was qualified for the visa renewal by mail. That means I didn't have to go to any interview appointment what a delight next you go to step two which is to book a visa application interview if you are not qualified for the visa renewal by mail if you are you still have to go to that page to make payment after you have keyed your receipt number it will come up a uh, confirmation and also interview waiver page. Just follow the instruction thereafter, I could either ask for a door-to-door pickup and delivery service which is a paid service or I could drop off my documents at Aramax Career Service in PJ which is what I did and it is free. I dropped off my passport at Aramax on a Friday and on Tuesday I received an email notification telling me that my passport was ready for collection. At the same time, I could also log on to the page where I applied for my US visa. On the dashboard, I could see at the bottom right, there is a notification telling me that my passport was ready for collection. New passport, new US visa. 